Hi. Hi. We've been married 45 years and we're kind of inseparable. We do everything together and we're right, right together all the time. And I tell him he's my security blanket, my teddy bear, that he's right, right by my side when I'm sick. <laughs> I don't look much like a teddy bear, but I take the yes, off. Yes, you do. <laughs> the end of 2010, our family doctor retired and we were told we had to find a new doctor. And it was the end of January. I woke up in the night and I couldn't hold anything down. I was sick. I had a tremendous headache. So I went to the emergency room of the local hospital in Dover, Delaware. And uh, as I walked in, I just as I went to sign in, I passed out. So, of course, they carried me right in, and they did a CAT scan, and I had bleeding on the brain. So they airlifted me by helicopter from the hospital in Dover, Delaware, to Penn Medicine in Philadelphia. She had uh, a real large hematoma on the brain from the bleeding, and that was the biggest concern because uh, they had no way at uh, the hospital in Dover to handle such conditions. In July of 2011, I was operated on. And then they said they removed the tumor, but that it was cancer. And that, of course, they couldn't get all the cancer cells. And uh, so that's why I was a candidate for the proton radiation. And this journey uh, with, through this kind of a crisis uh, is, only gets us stronger because uh, uh, I realize how much I need her, but she also lets me know how much she needs me. So that's, that's a real positive thing. And, and proton radiation in itself gives us a better quality of time because she's not down sick. She's not down with radiation sickness uh, and uh, she's not down uh, uh, weak. Uh, she, can, she can take a treatment today and this afternoon go someplace and do something and and that just is to me is amazing because 23 years ago when she had her first tumor uh, it wasn't that way at all uh, we couldn't go anywhere to do anything the ones at Penn Medicine they're all so friendly and they they help they help give you hope I oh. have a shirt that says ask me about proton therapy and I wear that and I was in the grocery store and had the, that shirt on and this lady stopped me and said uh, can I ask you what kind of cancer you have and when I told her I had brain cancer she goes well you look too good to be sick 